She was being impolite. Can you show me impolite? And what do we say? Talk to the hand. hand. Talk to the hand. That is so impolite, isn't it? It is very rude, okay? And she was being very selfish and very self-centered that it came off impolite, okay? Now, let's really think about our shared reading book, The Three Little Pigs. Now, in my Three Little Pigs, hmm, someone was being impolite. And we talked about this a little bit earlier, that in The Three Little Pigs, the original story that my little pigs thought who was being impolite by banging on the door. And in this story, honestly, Red Riding Hood was rotten. My wolf feels that Red Riding Hood was being a little impolite. Well, let's pull in our other text. And in the true story of The Three Little Pigs, the pigs were being impolite. Pigs were being impolite. And we know that by going in and thinking, hmm, let's look and see where are they being impolite. Okay, so here we have the wolf is not knocked on the house and nobody answered. So he called in, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what that rude little porker answered? Get out of here, wolf, don't bother me again. Was that impolite? Yes. Wow. And my wolf even says, talk about impolite. So let's review a couple vocabulary words from this book. Show me clenched. Okay. And we're going to clench our teeth. Okay. You can also clench your fist. But our emotion is our teeth. Okay. And that's because it applies in our book with our teeth. Okay, and you can clench your teeth in excitement when you're really excited about something. You clench your teeth because you're so excited, or if you're really angry. Who can use clenched in a sentence? <coughs> Michaela? I'm I clenched my teeth yesterday. You clenched your teeth yesterday. Why did you clench your teeth? Because my brother was being rude, and then I get mad. Oh, your brother was being rude to you, and so you got mad. Is that a reason we can clench our teeth? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good, McKay. So I have this Venn diagram here, and on my Venn diagram, I have my two wolves, okay? I have my two wolves. I have my big, big bad wolf from Honestly Red Riding Hood was rotten <coughs> in the wolf's point of view. And then I have Alexander T. Wolf from the true story of the three little pigs, okay? And then we know on a Venn diagram, the two sides are different, and the middle is the same. As I think about my two wolves, I know that they both really enjoy doing what? Eating. Eating. Well, if they really enjoy eating, they're not going to pass up a meal when it's available, are they? If there's a meal there, they're going to eat it. Okay? So I know that they must both have a very hearty appetite. So that is the first way that my two wolves are the same. They both have hearty appetites, which means that they probably have a very healthy diet. So we know that his point of view does 